Wilson. I've got a black and white and red card for you with some exquisite poppies that just pop off the card. I'll show you what we'll be using in today's video. First up, the finishing touches, exquisite poppy. We're going to accent that with the olive branch. I'll be using the center from the Swiss collection background. On the stitch lattice frames from the shadow box collection, I'm going to show you something interesting to do with the inside por portion of that die. And we're going to be creating a frame with the double pierced ovals from our noble collection. And first off, we're doing a little bit of embossing with the provincial lace embossing folder. Set those to the side. Okay, first off, I've cut a piece of white card and I'll give you a quick measurement on that. It is seven and a half by mm, six and a third. And I've covered it with a piece of self-adhesive sticky sheet. Now, I'm gonna do some embossing with this and it's okay to emboss with a folder with your sticky sheets. What you don't wanna do is put these through the machine with a tan mat over it because that will actually rip the uh, backing paper on it. Um, you may have just a little bit of a, you know, it may tear a little bit when you pull it off of the embossing folder, but it'll come off fine. Pop that into place. And because it's quite a bit thicker with that extra bit on there, I'm going to change my sandwich and use the white adapter plate rather than the raspberry. Now, if you find that on your machine the raspberry works fine or maybe even um, the white plate needs a shim, that's totally normal. Just check it out with your own machine and you can go from there. I'm gonna give it a quick emboss. There we go. Get that out. Now you get a tiny bit of cracking with that background sheet, but once you get it started, it should be okay to peel off. You might have a few rips that you'll have to go back and pull off. Let's just see, go slow. Peel from the edge, there we go, peel it across. So now I've got a beautiful embossed piece that is sticky, so I'm going to cover that with some glitter, bring in a piece of copy paper, set that down, and I'm going to use some diamond sprinkles, which is one of the uh, Cosmic Shimmer glitter jewels. Just cover this off really nicely. Get this side. We'll have that copy paper catch all the extra bit. There we go. Let's tidy that back up so we don't waste any of it. Okay. And I'll show that to you. So now you've got a really pretty piece that's got not only texture, but glitter to it. So it really grabs your eye. So I'll go ahead and I'll put that into place on my background. I've gone ahead, done my matching, matting and layering using my piercing ruler to do a top edge for it. I've used a little bit of our ruby red card with black, uh, a thin mat of black just to tie in all the different colors from the card. Put that into place right in the middle there. There we go, and we can move forward. Now I've already done a tiny bit of cutting with our, our um, frame. So what I wanna do is actually cut one more layer to go with this. So I'm gonna bring in a piece of black card and the dies I need from the ovals. I'm gonna go into the second from the largest and take that as my outside and go in one frame down so there won't be a very big gap between these two. Let's pop that over, bring in our cutting plates that down and we'll tape these into place here. Get them all nicely centered. I've got a whole bunch of tape there. Put that on. There we go and let's get the center. Now when you have the two dies next to each other you want to just kind of look around and make sure it's kind of equidistance all the way between them. That looks pretty good that into place and give that a quick cut. And come back. You'll have a little bit of a tighter pressure on that when you have two dies that tight and that large together. So it may just take you a little bit longer to run that through. There we 
go. Take all my tape off. What I want is this nice little frame that comes out between the two dies here. There we go. And I've got an oval left over that I can use for another occasion. So we'll set that to the side. Pop those back. So I've cut a white frame as the base, or actually as the, the main, and I've done a very uh, slightly smaller black that I want to show out from underneath that. So I'm going to go ahead and pop these into place. Mounting foam on the back like I usually do. I think most of my cards I spend time just peeling off the backing. But it does help it stay nice and flat and level, so it's a good thing to do. There we go. So I'm going to just center that so the little bit of the black will show through the bottom and just try to get it nice and even. And now I've got a little tiny edge layer. I'm going to put this on with a bit of glue. Cosmic Shimmer glue all the way around should just do the trick. And let's pull that around. Okay. And this should fit right on the edge of this one really nicely. And having the glue, you can sort of move it around a little until you get it exactly where you want it. Pop that down. There we go. Get to the edge. And if you're slightly off, you can always take a black marker around the edge and just hide those little imperfections. Paper does have a little bit of a stretch to it when it's been die cut, so you can kind of pull it around and get it nice and evened up. There we go. So have a really pretty frame. Now the next thing I've done is I've taken the die from the center of the stitched lattice frame with just the lattice center. It's got no outside cutting edge to it. I've cut two of them. And what I'm going to do is just offset them so I'll have a really nice double thick lattice for it. So I'm going to use a little bit of glue around the edge. And let me just pop a few dots around. Should be enough to secure it. Now when you're at home, I would take a little more time and do your gluing very, very carefully. But we'll just pop that around. Let's see, we want to go maybe that way. There we go. So you can see I've got what's nice, a little double lattice sort of look to it. So I'm going to pop my frame over the top of that and we'll, tw we'll trim away the excess bit. More mounting foam. And that should catch the edge of that lattice really nicely. And one more. There we go. Take our scissors and we can just go in at an angle, cut away the extra bit. Be careful to keep your scissors angled so you don't cut that top die, but cut everything away from underneath so it doesn't show. There we go. You can see how pretty that's starting to look. Okay, so I'm going to bring back my background. And because I've glittered that, remember we want to add glue to it because we don't want anything not sticking. So add a nice, generous amount of your uh, Dries Clear Cosmic Shimmer glue. And you can even add a few dots to the back center if you want it to hold nice and flat. And seat that right in the middle of our background. There we go, that looks good. Give that a second to hold up. Now I've cut the inside of the Swiss background. That's just the, the very smallest uh, die in the center of that. A little bit of mounting foam on the back of that. And I think I'll just add a little bit of glue just to help adhere. Pop that right into the center. I've stamped a sentiment. I've cut it out with the smallest oval in that set. And I've just gone around the edge with the edge of a, a marker pin just to pick up a little bit of the red from the poppies on there. That's all I've done. Pop that right into the center. And the poppies have been cut in a real nice soft red um, crepe paper just to give them a more lifelike look to them. So I'm going to pop them onto the card. We'll use some blue dots for that. I've done one that's a slight bit bigger than the others. I'm going to put that right in the middle. And I've done two on either side the same size. 
I've cut the centers of the stamen in black card, just put a little black uh, dazzler in the center. Pop them right there. Really nice. And just to really make the um, uh, lifelike look of the poppies, I've got some olive branches that I've cut just out of green card, and I'm going to add a bunch of these with just some glue, tuck them in and around. I think it's really nice to have your focal elements having little um, bit of accent pieces to them. Quite a few of these I've cut. We'll just pop them underneath our flower. And those um, poppies, uh, excuse me, those um, olive branches are a little bit on the large side sometimes, so you can nip them around and cut them down and use little bits of them, which I like. You don't always have to have a big piece. And a few more. And you've also got a left and a right facing on these, so it's really nice. You can use them wherever you need them. Let's pop some up on top. And a couple more, just to finish it off. Like that, and maybe one more down there. Just lift up the edge of the flowers and you can pop them right underneath. So you can spend time arranging your um, foliage all the way around your flowers, however you like that. A couple pearls on the center, maybe in the corners, and you have a very, very beautiful card that I think anybody would love to have. So hope you've enjoyed today's video and you'll join us again. Sure and go by our Facebook page and like us and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well.